Welcome back to my channel. Um, unfortunately, on my channel this month, I'm not going to have a March favorites because March was a totally crazy month for me. It flew by, so I really don't have that many products. So I promise I'll do double the products next month in April, but I figured I would still film my uh, get to know me video just so that you can get to know me, I can get to know you, and that way we can all be friends. <laughs> So I guess I'll just start off with um, the animals that you see all the time. Uh, I have two cats, two dogs. Um, it's Lily is the oldest, followed by Jax, Lexi, and then the newest member of our family is Rosie. This is Lily. She is the brains of all the animals. She's a little baby. She's seven. And yeah, she she uh, funny story. She was meant to be my dog, but she ended up being my mom's dog. But it's all good. We still love her. This is my cat, Jax. He and his sister, Lexi, are brother and sister from the same litter. And he is a 14 pound big old boy. But he's my baby boy. And he's so sweet. He's actually the first uh, boy animal I've ever had. But he's just a total sweetheart. And he's kind of mad because I picked him up. But yeah, he's just a little cutie. Funny story is when I, when I got him as a kitten, he was all white. Then he started to get orange, and now he's a, an orange and white cat. <laughs> Next up is little Lexi. She's mad because I took her out of her spot. She is trouble. She knows she's not supposed to do certain things, and she does them anyways. But she's a sweetheart, and I love her anyways. Then the newest member of our family is little Rosie. <laughs> Little Rosie. She's our three pound chihuahua that we rescued just in July. She has so much patience. Like when we were at the uh, facility to adopt her, she had a little Yorkie just yapping right in her ear and she just sat there. Like nothing was going on. She was just like, whatever. So she's been really great to have in our family. So those are probably the faces that you see uh, quite a bit when I'm filming. They love to be in my room when I'm doing stuff. Especially like because my mom's gone during the day. So you'll probably see them and like hear them quite a bit because they don't understand that I'm trying to do stuff. So yeah, that's the animals for you. I uh, do currently live with my mom. I did move out uh, right when I was 18 and I uh, pretty much moved out all of college. And then college was over and just a lot of things were going on. So uh, my mom and I moved back in together. And I'm currently in, like, the home I grew up in, which is uh, really funny because the uh, friends that I grew up with, their parents are still there, too. So I see them occasionally, and it's just like, oh, back back in the day. So that's, it's nice. Like, it's definitely weird because I, I was small, obviously, when I was here. So I'm like, everything was so much bigger to me. And I'm like, oh, my God, it's so small now. <laughs> um... Well, it's, it, it's really hard to talk into a camera, like, with no questions. I feel, like, really narcissistic right now, so <laughs> forgive me. Uh, I live in the suburbs of Seattle, Washington, and, uh, yeah, it rains here a lot. Um, it, I'm just used to it. People are like, oh, it rains all the time. I'm like, yeah, I'm used to it. Just like if you're in, like, Southern California, it's like it's sunny all the time. Yeah, you're used to it. I mean, it's definitely nice. Because you can, like, go out and do stuff, and, then, like, when it rains, you're like, okay. Well, so much for, like, going outside and going for a walk or something. I feel like I have cat hair all over my face. And generally, it's Jax's hair. I uh, graduated from community college um, just this past June. I graduated with my uh, broadcasting certificate. A uh, radio broadcasting certificate. Um, yeah. I mean, it was... It was it was definitely like a highlight in my life to graduate from community college. Even though, even though it's just community college, it was still college. Like I still <laughs> went through like finals and studying and all that. Um, I like to read actually a lot. <laughs> I'm kind of like a closeted nerd um, in some ways because I read a lot. I love documentaries. Like the amount of documentaries I have watched and like rewatched that I have like memorized is weird. Like, because it's always about either alcohol, the prohibition, or murder mysteries, or murderers. And I don't know why <laughs> that stuff interests me so much. It just does. Like, any mystery or anything like that totally interests me. Like, I I had to watch this one documentary 
on Netflix because it was H.H. H. Holmes. And I was freaking out because I was like, oh, that's my mom's maiden name. Oh, my God. And then I watched it. And I was like, oh, okay. No, I'm good. Okay. Just, just had to make sure. But, yeah. So, I'm, I'm hugely weird like that. And I went through, like, an anime phase. Um... I read a lot of manga, I read a lot of books, mostly romance books, but yeah, I'm like a closeted nerd for sure, like I, I play Pokemon Go, um, I like to play like certain video games, like I play Borderlands, Borderlands 2, and like anything Nintendo pretty much, um, so I'm like a closeted nerd, I'm also a huge, 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 huge makeup freak, obviously, like, my makeup collection is getting ridiculous, it's almost okay. Do I buy another piece of makeup and get rid of my bed, or do I not buy the makeup and I keep my bed? Because there's just no room in my room. Like, I have a desk over here, and at one point I could actually use it as a desk as well as a place to store makeup. Now all it does is store makeup. I kid you not, it is ridiculous. I'm a huge makeup freak, and I've gotten into doing my own nails. Um, I really need to get into skincare. I don't know why. Like, I know skincare is super important. I know you need to drink tons of water, and I'm horrible at it. Absolutely horrible. So that's one of the things I had in my life. I'd, that's one aspect of my life I'd really like to get better at. I also want to learn a few different nail techniques. Um, but that'll, that'll all come with time. I'm not like, need to do it right now type thing, which some things I am, some things I'm like, if there's ever a problem in my life, I'm like, I need to fix it right now. Like, if I can't do something about it, it bothers me. Um, I'm definitely one of those people who love to laugh, um, and I laugh at everything, even like the most stupidest stuff on the planet, you'd be like, why are you laughing? I love to laugh, even at the most stupidest things, I just love to laugh. Like, I've probably watched Fluffy's specials, I don't even know how many times, and I just die laughing. And the thing about me is that sometimes when I laugh really hard... I'll have panic attacks from laughing so much because the thing is I'll be laughing so hard that I stop breathing and then I freak out because I can't stop laughing so I can't start breathing again so I just freak out and then I have a panic attack. It sounds so stupid but it happens trust me tons of people are just like yeah that's true because it happened to me all the time especially um, at the radio station that I uh, went to like okay so my community college had a radio station at it and at the radio station I would have panic attacks all the time because everyone there was really funny. So I would just laugh and, I'd be like, and someone would be like, stop making jokes. We need her to start breathing. <laughs> so, yes, if any of them are watching, they can contest that, yes, that, that legit happens. So one thing about my personality is that I like to think I'm funny. Uh, I am always making stupid jokes or stupid comments. And a lot of times my friends and people who know me <laughs> just do a little, ha, huh? like a courtesy, like, laugh, I guess. I think I'm hilarious, okay? Like, I, I really do think that. But, um, I guess one of the stupidest, long, longest running jokes I have is that, um, years and years and years ago, a Geico commercial, uh, this guy was like, a fish walks into the bar, a bartender says, what can I get you? And the fish says, water. I thought it was hilarious, so for a really long time, I would just randomly be like, hey mom, she's like, what? And I'm like, a fish. And then I would say the joke, and she's like, that's not funny, and I just thought it was so funny. I definitely started to just say the joke because I knew it annoyed her. And then, like, one time, I hadn't said it for a really long time, so it was, like, really funny, and I, like, will always probably remember that. And then, like, fast forward to, like, last night, um, I probably hadn't said the joke in a, a few years. And so last night, um, I was on my Facebook, and one of my friends, Fish, jumped out of the fishbowl. And, um, I was like, oh, mom, it's Fish Decide, because I was telling her about it. And she just looked at me like, that is so stupid. And I thought it was pretty funny. I was like, well, one for me, because I, I thought that was hilarious. And so anyways, a, like a, a second goes by and I go, hey, mom, she's like, what? And I'm like, a fish. And she's like, don't even go there. And I started laughing so hard. I couldn't breathe. And I think she was like, she chuckled a little bit, but then she realized how hard I was laughing. And then she started laughing and, and it was it was hilarious. It was like one of those times... So yeah, just stupid jokes like that I like to do a lot. Um, but yeah, my mom and I are just, we're really close. Um, it's definitely just kind of been like me and her my whole life. Um, I mean, obviously we went through like the teenage, like, I hate my parents type thing. But even for us, it wasn't really that bad. Um, but yeah, I'm incredibly close with my mom and I actually really do enjoy living with her. 
Uh, she cooks for me, which is awesome. My mom is a fantastic cook. She actually has a YouTube channel herself where she like teaches you how to cook because somehow I, I can't cook. I really can't. Um, raw meat grosses me out. I Eggs kind of freak me out a little bit. Um, I'm not allowed to use big knives and I've actually burnt myself on the oven and not as in a child, as an adult, a full grown adult, like living on my own. I burnt myself on the oven. Like, yeah. So I'm not really allowed in the kitchen unless I'm like doing something really small. I, I know my limitations. Me and the microwave, we are like this. I should like really name her. Maybe I'll name her like Stella or something. I don't know. Anyways, me and the microwave, we're besties, but my mom cooks for me a lot, which is awesome. Um, she, everything we eat in this house is spicy. I kid you not. My mom orders uh, extra hot green chilies from New Mexico. And um, yeah, we eat a ton of hot sauce. And like I always have uh, three to four different hot sauces in the house at all times because I am addicted to hot sauce. I really, really am. I don't even know how to eat food that doesn't have hot sauce or heat in it. Um, my mom actually uh, grew up in New Mexico. And so um, we eat a lot of Mexican food because my mom just, you know, she was she was immersed in the culture. So um, that's probably why the love of spicy food runs so deep. Um, I actually have friends who really love my mom's cooking, but they won't eat it all the time because they're worried it's going to be too hot. I mean, we think it's delicious. Other friends are like, it's good, but it's it's hot. <laughs> and you just seem like sweating and crying and... Ugh, it's funny. I'm always just like, suck it up! You've been my friend for how long? You can't eat spicy food still? But, yeah, it's all, it's all funny in games. Yeah, I, I want to say that's like it. I really, I feel like that's the basic lowdown of my life. Um, yeah, I really can't think of anything else to add. Um, let me know down in the comments, um, like where you're from, um, Maybe like funny stories about your animals. I love funny stories about people's pets. I could literally like sit and talk about my pets all day. Um, let me know if you eat spicy foods a lot. Um, just, just tell me anything about yourself. I really want to get to know you guys and I want you guys to get to know me because I really want us to just be friends. That's really why I wanted to start my YouTube channel in the first place was I wanted to be a place where friends can come and get together, talk about products, you know, show um, how to do certain looks and stuff like that. Like teaching and giving advice is something that I really do love to do and I love to do makeup. Um, I'm hoping to get a couple of my friends on here um, to do their makeup because they have different skin tones from my own and I always love doing their makeup so hopefully we can work that out um, but yeah I, I really do enjoy uh, makeup and all this aspects of it so uh, this was super talky so I hope you don't mind um, if you want to know anything else about me you can always just ask in the comments I'm really much I'm pretty much an open book um, so yeah, just leave it down in the comment box below and until next time, bye.